Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Libs freaking out after lawmaker announces one single plan that will rid America of Islam forever. The controversy of historical statues and true history is one that has reached a level of extreme sides all vying for the top podium while violence is ramping up to a crescendo so loudly that the country almost shakes from it. Yet, many forget there is an enemy scarier than some mortar and cement statues. Islam is a cancer to Western societies, and many have taken to social media to express that if statues are going to be removed because of slavery 150 years ago then mosques should be removed as well due to their past and present involvement with slavery. The beautiful thing about the outcry is when representatives say the very same thing as Representative John Bennett recently did. According to Conservative Daily Post, it seems every time you turn on the news there is yet another instance of a group of angry citizens tearing down a monument or statue. For the most part, many of these items are a nod to a particular part of American history, the Civil War. This was a dark time in U.S. history and something we never want to repeat. The shocking part of all of this is the fact that many want to just remove this part of our history from the books instead of addressing it. Out of frustration, one Oklahoma lawmaker made a bold statement about this rewriting of history on social media. Rep. John Bennett posted on his Facebook page a post that compared the removal of Confederate statues after the Civil War to demand to remove all mosques after 9-11. Bennett's Facebook posting, which he refused to remove or apologize for, read. If we're removing Confederate monuments after the Civil War, I think we should also be removing mosques after 9-11. The simply worded post drew almost immediate outrage from many of the more liberal lawmakers and citizens around Bennett. Although he refused to remove the post, it has since been removed. This more than likely is tied to a feature on the popular social media platform that allows users to complain about the content people post on their private accounts. Bennett made it no secret he posted this on his own and he stood by what he said. He also refused to make any apologies for his posting. In a statement released to the public, Bennett explained the post. Yes, I posted it, yes I meant it. No I'm not taking it down. Everyone is so politically correct they focus on this instead of the real issues. These Civil War monuments should stand and be a constant reminder to never go back to that. Those were dark days for America. The Civil War monuments are something we should learn from. It's absurd to try to take Civil War statues down. We need to toughen up as Americans and do what's right for all Americans. People are causing a divide, and to take down historical monuments is way out of the ballpark ridiculousness. Making a public statement about preserving American history has drawn lots of anger and hateful backlash to the lawmaker. The assumption being that anyone who supports maintaining this part of our history is racist and promotes the values behind slavery. As Bennett explained, this is not the case. He instead points to the fact that the only way to learn from these events is to talk about them, explore the mistakes and avoid them in the future. Denying the Civil War took place leads our history to a dangerous place that could end in the scene is repeated. The current climate that supports the use of violence from liberal groups to somehow clean up American history is causing a divide in this country. The United Nations has issued reports pointing to this activity pushing the United States closer to a repeat of the Civil War. This is the time to learn from the mistakes of the Civil War and avoid repeating this stark part of history. It is not the time to hide behind statues being removed and denying it ever happened. While some were quick to dismiss Bennett as being racist and lost in some anti-Islamic rage, this is not the case. Bennett has long argued for a real discussion about ties between Islam and terrorism. He also has seen firsthand the threats logged after 9-11 as he served in Iraq and Afghanistan. Bennett's statements were not made out of hate but instead a realistic look at the impact of being too politically correct on tough issues. According to a report about his history tied to speaking out against Islamic terror groups. For us to sit back and listen to their lies and deflection and let them continue on their claims that this is all racist and I'm an Islamophobe, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Bennett, 1A. 
U.S. Marine Corps reservist who served in Iraq and Afghanistan, flashed back with a claim that care is a branch of the Muslim Brotherhood in America. We must shine a bright light on the role of the Muslim Brotherhood and its varied tentacles in the U.S., Bennett said. These tentacles include unindicted co-conspirators of the U.S. vs. Hololin Foundation trial like the Council on American-Islamic Relations here in Oklahoma. Our borders are wide open to drug and human traffickers. Terrorism could come to Oklahoma just as easily. Good job sir and thank you. The silent majority feels this exact same way and are slowly becoming more and more vocal about it. Truth needs to be exposed, and the racial divide among Americans needs to stop. We are not the enemy, and neither are our historical figures. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. comments.